that love I can't let go I'm feeling higher than the most high All eyes on us when we roll I'm your queen, you my hero Where my west side girls at? Where my east side riders at? Where my south side gets his at? Go Hey, that's somebody calling right now. See, I got Brian on the go. Go, Brian. Global Street Wave. We already on the go, as you know. Somebody trying to probably get the security gate. Another great show, y'all. We at themoorsmedialive.com. Y'all can check us out on the gang of Facebooks, uh, lives, and all that good stuff. You know, I got a special brother in here today. He's been supporting, man, sending me money. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be having me and send y'all money, sisters? Well, I do, too. I'm just playing. I got a brother, Jason Spears. He's a great bossy supporter. He be buying bossy shirts and all that. So he in here to represent. Flew out here just for the day. Come in and do the show. So I want to give a hand clap. To my man Jason, you on the very see, I ain't gonna make you wait to be known and seen. We're gonna get Brian back. See, it's good I had you. I might need to let him just be my assistant for the day and answer the phone. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, definitely, you guys, we have some guests coming in. I will mention the guests as they come in. <laughs> okay, other than that, y'all gonna hear Bossy with our bomb topic to get today. So, what I need y'all to do is call in 323 293 3375. And that's again, 323. Let me slow down, y'all. 323 293. 3375. There we go on the screen for you. We have um, a call in supposedly today with Havoc and Phil Phil. So we'll see. I mentioned I'm not going to mention my guest yet, but we, we should have Havoc calling in today. If y'all know about that South Central Cartels, you know what I'm saying? Also, um, today we're going to uh, be talking about the law of attraction. That's actually the topic. Okay. Do me a favor. Can you get up and tell Brian and get out of that hallway talking loud? Thank you while I'm live. Thank you. You see what I got to go through, y'all? Brian, you are too loud in that hallway talking on the phone. So you set until I bring you back in and you chill. That's what he on. Brian on punishment, y'all. You set that answer to that phone. That's what you do. So right now today, y'all, Brian ain't going to probably get his words from the wise. He's going to be on punishment for talking loud in the hallway. You know what I'm saying? This is school, Jason. Get up to that microphone before you get out of line. I'm going to kick you up. Kiss that up. Set up. You got a girlfriend or a woman or wife at home? Nope. Same. You ain't been getting none? Do you get something while you're single? Yeah. Do you, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm about to tell him. Talking the dang old mic. That's the whole point. Yes. And I'm asking, do you get something while you're single? Yes. All right, I need that mic to be your coochie, your titty, whatever you like on a woman's body, her eyes, her nose. You need to talk in my microphone, okay? Okay. All right, see how I'm doing what I'm doing? Follow the leader. See how bossy got to boss people around before the show? So, anyways, y'all, what we're going to do is we gonna we got a word for the day. I got a word for the day. I need you to, to live this word out for me, too, because the type of person I am, you're going to have to be this type of person and have this type of love, okay? And don't get all nasty and horny because it ain't that type of love, all right? <laughs> Jason looking at me like I'm crazy Wake up Jason okay. Jason off that 420 y'all So my word today you guys um, Is called E-R-O-S E-R-O-S Eros Eros And basically It's a passionate and intense love Oh no my bad This is not the one I want you to have I'm reading a different one I changed my word I was The other one was an unconditional It was four types of love Before I keep going And the other one was like An unconditional love That's the agape love I forgot I switched it up this was on some sensual stuff, so I don't want you to have this love, Jason, unless you're going to pay me for it. So, again, the word is E-R-O-S, you guys. Look it up on Google. Bossy just trying to get y'all some enlightenment for the day. So, I'm giving you a word for the day. The word for the day, it means a passionate and intense love that arouses romantic feelings. It is the kind that often triggers high feelings in a new relationship and makes you say I love him or her who be saying I love him or her and be meaning it because some of y'all don't be meaning it so basically I ain't going to get like well, I guess I'll read the rest of it although this romantic love is important in the beginning of the new relationship it may not last unless it moves as a what unless well, no, no, wait, wait. it may not last unless it moves and not uh, damn y'all basically if the person is in love uh if the person in love does not feel good about the relationship, then basically the love ain't strong with the partner. So more of the story is what I was trying to say. I got a little caught up, y'all. I got hot talking about that love stuff. I must have been trying to feel that. What I'm trying to say is basically in order to continue to love someone romantically and all that good stuff. Are you looking at me? Mm -hmm. You both have to give it. You know what I'm saying? That fire sometimes you have in the beginning, it dies out and it's not there no more. So this type of passionate love you got to keep. You feel me? Yeah. So that's what I was trying to say, y'all. So if we both passionate, then that's what we can do. So we got a caller. Thank God. Now I can shut up, y'all, because I'm off balance from this doggone phone ringing. Caller, thank you for helping me out. Global Streetway, what's your name and what city are you calling from? 
Oh, this is Havoc. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, headphones. Hold on, Havoc. Hold on, Pookie. That's what I'm talking about. You better call in. Got the call in already on and out the way. How you doing, Havoc? I'm hanging on in there. What's up with you? I'm doing great, man. It's good to hear from you. I'm glad you called. Is Phil Phil on the line? Uh, he's not yet. Um, he should be calling in any minute. Okay. Are you guys going to call in separate? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I thought you were going to do like a three-way, you know what I'm saying? Why am I throwing a west side for the three-way? I'm talking to my home girl by herself. Well, listen to this. I want you now, right now, you guys, I had a guest that was doing a call-in. I would like for you to introduce to the world right now who you are because you are a G in the game. West side. All right. Well, this is Havoc. Um, everybody know me as Havoc the Mouthpiece. I'm one of the um, um, original members of the um, West Coast group, South Central Cartel. Um, um, I've um, been doing this pretty much, you know, um, uh, uh, since, you know, the mid-80s, and, you know, uh, we were the first West Coast group to sign the Def Jam. Wow. Um, you know, we was on major soundtracks, the show soundtrack, Tales from the Hood, um, LV won a Grammy with, um, Coolio on Gangsta's Paradise. I just seen LV out there at the summer kickoff concert. Yeah. Yeah, finish um, going. Um, you know, uh, we um, 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 pretty much um, had a deal with Russ Regan, one of the two men who sold a billion records um, wow. on, with our first deal through Quality Pump and uh, my label, GWK Records. Um, you know, um, Prodigy pretty much put the group together and was the genius behind the sound and, the, um, you know, the music. Um, I was pretty much, you know, did the pushing, you know, um, out here doing the... Uh, leg work. You was the mouthpiece. You know, uh, we made a great team. And that's when we, you know, we had the Havoc and Prodigy record as well. Okay. We the original Havoc and Prodigy. Um, you know, me myself, I've been around music my whole life. You know, my father's um, in the Music Hall of Fame. Uh, sung in the group The Shy Lights. You know, number one hits. Have you seen the old girl? And you know, write a letter. And so I pretty much been around music my whole life. And and you know and. That um, legendary blood. It's exciting. Lights. You know, back doing it, it again and trying to, um, you know, um, adapt to the, you know, 21st century of digital entertainment. And okay. Pretty much is looking good. I'm blessed. And I see you have a young brother. You had a bunch of beautiful sisters you were uh, working with. You got a young brother that's Phil Phil. Now, before we get him on the line and he calls in, of course, he's going to let the world know who he is. But is that an artist that you're working with right now? Oh, yes, Phil Phil Johnson is an artist out of um, Wisconsin. Um, I just started working with him about a month and a half ago. Okay. He's an extraordinary talent. Uh, he reminds me of like a Usher, a um, Chris Brown, and a weekend role in one. Oh, wow. Yes, he's a good comedy, good tri trio. He does his own music. Um, actually, he'll be out here next week in um, Vegas for a few days again. Um, we got some stuff going on. Um, we probably wind up shooting to L.A. and, um, um, you know, just getting him out there and trying to get his talents, you know, recognized. And he's definitely the new prince of R&B. And when I'm done with him, he's going to be the king of R&B. Hey, that's right. That's right. Definitely. You know what? You sent me his bio. You didn't send on music, have you? So it doesn't matter because I'm going to have plenty of shows, of course. Right. And I make sure I, you know, play his music. I like to use different tracks for commercial breaks besides all the bosses' music because, you know, I'm going to play mine. Yeah, so I want to wear the people out with Bossy. Give them something different. So definitely make sure you send me something of them because, um, you know, I can play it on the show. I appreciate that. Is this something that you're specifically working on right now that people need to know about? They need to go out and look for, you know, let people know yeah. where to find you at and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I got a catalog um, of music. Um, um, you know, I got the um, whole Game Changes GWK catalog. Okay. Um, you know, um, starting with, you know, I got the South Central Cartel album, Concrete Jungle. Pick that up and, or stream it. Um, you got Droop's record, Project Game Changer. Okay. Um, I got Shaquilla. Um, she's an original early female rapper. Um, got an album called Gangsters from the Bay. Um, I got Young Murder Squad, How We Living, um, Havoc and Prodigy. Um, we got an album called um, Truths Never Stop. That's now, is this all new also, current music, Havoc? Is this stuff all new that you're talking about? Yes, all okay. the stuff I just awesome. um, released. Okay, is um, it on Is it on iTunes, or where do they find it? And um, basically, um, you know, I got the Go Hard movie, docufilm soundtrack. Yes, you do. And then I got um, Back to the Streets, Volume 1 and 2. Okay. Um, you know, just, you know, I pretty much got a lot of great music, and the artists that I'm working with, like you um, just said, is Phil Phil Johnson. 
and I'm pretty much just building up, you know, um, um, you know, my catalog to the new era. Okay, and, that's and, right. Um, you know, making adjustments to how the game is now. And you know what I was asking I mean, while you were talking? I apologize for that. I like cutting people off. I was asking you the music. Now, are they able to find this on iTunes and Amazon? Every- I'm from iTunes to Tidal to okay. Amazon, Spotify, uh, all that. Google Play. Okay. Um, you name it, I'm on everything. Um, Ingroove is the number one digital distributor in the game, and that's who I deal with. So my music is pretty much everywhere, pretty okay. much more than everybody else's music because Ingroove's got more digital distributors. That's right. Well, you know what I wanted to do uh, is ask you a question. Not a question, ask you to do something for me. A lot of people sure. say the game is to be sold, not told, but we ain't no pimps over here. I come from the dope dealing. No, I'm just playing, y'all. But real talk, what I want you to do, Havoc, because you are always inspiring me on the phone. I, you know, when we on the phone, I don't cut you off. I'll be listening to you, you know what I'm saying? But is this something that you can say, you know, not just to the young artists, just to everybody that's doing whatever they're doing. You've doing, you do movies, you do music, you work with artists, you know, male, female. So what could you say just to the people to keep them encouraged as far as what they're doing? What could you say uh, to well, these people? Uh, well, well the, the, the first and foremost about anything that you're doing in this music is you got to have belief. Yes. You got to have belief in yourself and having someone who has the same belief in you. Because yes. every artist needs someone to believe in them and be and be their, um, you know, their agent or their manager, you know. So what I try to tell everybody is get good, rep- you know, uh, representation. And, and when you do get good uh, representation, also be extremely involved in everything that you're taking part of in your career. That's right. You know, just don't believe in your great rep- um, representation you know, take incentive to go learn yourself so that you know when when your manager tells you something, you can understand what he's telling you. That's instead right. Instead of just going on what someone's telling you. That's right. And then putting all your faith and hope in them when you can get somebody else to do the same thing and even better, right? Uh, absolutely. Some just, people, what you, know, you say? You to know your strong point. And That's if you're right. Not, if it's not your strong point being a manager, then you need someone that needs that, you know, that's know that can focus on that that's right because being an artist you need to concentrate on perfecting your craft perfecting your presentation and perfecting your image so that you know you can be on point with what you're doing mm-hmm. yeah. exactly and also just to how the game is today you know you know the 21st century of digital music is a streaming business now yes now yes it is your music to what streaming is today you are already 95% in failure mode. Yes, yes, I finally put me one up. Well, what I want to do, Havoc, I want to have you guys come in and then we can talk all day. Okay. Other than that, you got to get off my phone. I got 25 people on hold. I'm just okay, lying, trying to act like my, uh, I'm act like my phone popping. Um, I'll be in L.A. next weekend. Okay. So I'll hit you up when, um, when I get ready to head out that way and we can pre-record some stuff or whatever you okay. want to do and uh, make it happen. And then one last thing before we go, tell everybody where they can find you at. All uh, right, you can find me everywhere, uh, everything. You can find me under my real name, Carrie, C-A-R-Y, Calvin, C-A-L-V-I-N, or under Game Changer, and it's spelled the unique way, G-A-I-M-C-H-N-G-3-R. Once again, G-A-I-M-C-H-N-G-3-R. Game Changer everywhere. You, If you own it, I'm on it. That's so right. Put that name in there. And I guarantee you, I'm on there. That's right. That's right. Well, you know where I'm at right now is, uh, you know, the poet is, uh, and Mr. Morris, you know, the, you know, I know you know the poet Yeah, they, yeah, they built a little studio over there. No, it's a big park, studio. Right it's a big studio. Park. It's a big studio. Well, I'm just saying when she was <laughs> I just building it, I was speaking to her when they was actually building it. That's where I'm at. And I've been with the, I've been knowing the Porters for over close to thirty years, or a little over thirty years. I know. I was using her name like she was Tupac and Michael Jackson out there at the kick up. I was like, hey, you know, look all the OGs. Like, you know, the Porters, right? I'm at her studio. They're like, oh yeah, yeah <laughs> you gotta say something to make people her. familiar. You know what I'm saying? Family, I love her. I know it. I know it. I grew up. You know what I'm saying? And in, in my in my younger days, even though we still even young. Her rapping days, she was a beast. I'm, she's one of the artists I looked up to. I never told her that and kissed her butt and praised her feet, but she actually is because she was very poetic. And positive, and they went all like cussing, and you know what I'm saying. So I used to write poetry before I started cussing and stuff. And yeah, she was up there around with the girls that was putting it down with JJ Bass. Yes. And, um, 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 Yo Yo, and um, 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 you know, pretty much all of the um early the West Coast pioneers. There you go. Is right there with them with, you know, um, um, with um, um Sugar T and Conscious Daughter. All and, that. And speaking know, of them. 
I actually have a commercial, so keep watching the show. I'm going to play a commercial a break. Actually, when I get off the phone with you, I'm going to play a commercial break. So you know, Paul, this it's going to be from the summer kickoff concert, and I have okay. uh, I got some of it's just really some of the drops. It's really from my drops, but I got to meet JJ Fad. Then with some great sisters, interview Sugar T. She's going to be on this what I'm about to play, but wow, definitely, yeah. yeah and I seen a, and I seen a, exactly. So I appreciate you calling in. Definitely appreciate you, you guys. Y'all check Havoc out. South Central Cartels, man. He's definitely a brother, definitely a leader out here doing what he's doing. He's definitely intelligent and gamed on the industry because he's been a lot of times we've talked to me back a few years ago. When I had my, remember I had my big bodyguards and stuff? Well, I still got Shannon. Salute to hey, Shannon. Heck yeah, you know what I'm family. saying? That's family. Hey, yeah. Salute I to Adam, too. I first met you at that concert up there, you just, you killed. Oh, Portersville. That stage. And I have not, you know, um, 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 I've seen a lot of impressive um, stage performances, you know, in the last four or five years, you know what I mean, since I've been back in the game. Yeah. You were definitely one of the few who electrifies that stage when you get on your energy, your presentation, and how you command the stage is, is just remarkable. And it also shows in your radio show. And since you got into radio, you, can, you know, you can feel the same energy. And, yes. And um, you're doing a great job. I'm proud of you. And Thank you. Up. Thank you. It's a lady ball. Give me when I'm on the stage. Y'all better watch out. Yeah. I start spitting that knowledge. Sound like I'm about to cuss the whole stage, the whole community up. But thank you so much, baby, for calling in. I really appreciate you, Havoc. Yes, and I appreciate you, too. And good luck and keep up the good work. All right, darling. God bless. All right. All right, man. So now, you guys, we thank Havoc. Hey, I'll call her called in. I like when guests be on point. I got my other little beautiful sister, Kamani's in the building. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to a commercial break. We're going to come Come back with our artist spotlight. We have a beautiful young lady. We do a radio campaign, okay? And actually, um, you get to be heard on 1580 AM. It's uh, car frequency. You get to be heard on Global Street Wave. You get to be heard on 97.7 The Blaze, which is with DJ Charlie. It's internationally syndicated. And you also get to be heard on 97.8 Push, which is out in Boston. Yeah, Boston's not playing when she say Global Street Wave is connected like Wi-Fi. So this young lady was one of those, art one of those artists that invested into the small fee of $60. And hey, she's going to come on here and get special treatment. And she's actually was supposed to get her track played. But I'm going to let her introduce her track. So we be back. I'm going to let y'all see what I was doing with my man Stymie Efe and Candy Cane and all them out there just in Ontario at the summer kickoff concert. So we be right back. Global Street Wave. Morris Media. Global Street Wave out here with the letters, man. Doing what we do. Me and Simon E.P. Global Street Wave in the building, man. Y'all just stay tuned in. We're out here at the summer concert. That's it. Global Street Wave. Candy Cane and Soul. Contextual Magazine. Global West Magazine. All that. You know what I mean? Got legendary. Beautiful queen still looking like she's 15. She's 15, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is rocking the stage. Check it out for the ladies. You know, I'm a lady lover, not a lady hater. So it's great to be with the ladies. Rocking all those three ways. We're doing our thing right here. Make it out. Rocking the stage. Sugar Team from the ladies. Hashtag Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. And it don't stop. Shout out to Global Street with baby. You know I fuck with them too. Shit. Shout out to them motherfucking sad beasts. The first I said, baby, what? Think it's how you find it. It's edge match. Uh, when you get up, I hit it's illegal. Knock on my door, got me staring up. Need you back on my show in a whole other spot now. Smell go under the good name. Hey, if y'all ain't knowing, man, shout out to DJ Charlie number one. That's how I met Slam 400. And he don't know, but we stay back at 400 live on the show. Like, 400? You know what I'm saying? Screaming bossy, man. Go have Slam 400 back on the show again. Love the street, man. You feel me? It's time to get it. Hey, what up, boys? Shout out to all the street, man. Don't leave that part on love, bitch. Big bag of people. No, I'm going to do what I want to. Hey, call me every day. I'm on the coffee list. What is your look at me? Man just got off of the stage. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, it's at Brown Boy Music, M U Z I K. And we in the building right now. Shouts out to Global Streetway. You already know. I put y'all, Scrooge Balls, y'all here at the summer kickoff concert. Let them know who you are, man. Shout out to Global Streetway. Y'all already know. Hey, Global Streetway, Global Street Wave, 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 Thank you. 
You got that love I can't let go. I'm feeling higher than the most high. All eyes on us when we roll. Where my side girls at? Where y'all? Where my side riders at? Where they at? Where my side girls at? Where y'all? Where my side riders at? Where they at? Where my side girls at? Where y'all? Where my side riders at? Where they at? Where my side girls at? Where y'all? Where my side riders at? Where they at? Where my side girls 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 at? Where they at? Uh, well, no, well, I mean, I was, raised, the, I was raised in L.A., but I don't come from the streets like that. But you was raised around, like, yeah. neighborhoods with drugs and yeah. crackheads. So you know what I'm talking about. Don't be yeah. acting brand new. Yeah, she do know, come from the streets like that. Right. Other than that, she would have been like, no, I was raised on the west side by the Beverly Center. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's don't come from the streets like that. You know right. what I'm saying? You know about some crackheads, girl. You come from the streets like that. Okay. So anyways, little mama, this beautiful, beautiful young lady is here for an artist spotlight. And I'm going to give her a Dipland treat. We didn't even mention our sponsor, right. Dipland Dip came. Yummy, yummy. Right quick. Is that and a pretzel? I'm hook you up with some oh, chocolate girl two dollars no i'm just playing no. and then she said oh i'm just playing <laughs> dip land is our sponsor queen and okay. she, my god sister blesses us with the dip pretzels chocolate god bless you from dip land thank and you and if you don't uh this oreo cookie dipped in chocolate god bless you brian thank you. since yeah. you was obedient and let me fuss at you here you go pookie you, which uh, one you, you want pick thank one you. pick one okay i'm gonna go with this one right there here. you go okay so yeah. salute the dip land y'all d-i-p-l-a-n-d-d -D. check dip land out d-i-p-l-a-n-d-d d-i-p -D -D. underscore l-a-n-d-d -D on instagram check my god sister out man she got these I know you can barely see it, probably because like this stuff is glistening all on me. But she has these bomb dipped everything. Just go look. So back to Kimani. I had to give her a little treat. Right. Okay. So now, Queen, I got that dough. We're not gonna play the track literally yet, but since I messed it up, you know what is that track about? What are you talking about? Okay. Well, the track is, uh, you know, it's definitely about making that dough. Okay. And, um, you know, getting with you know, doing what you gotta do to get that dough and everything okay. and having fun at the same time is that type of turn up, okay. beat and everything. So, you know, it's that inspiration of getting that dough. That's what I'm talking about. Not and good. what producer would you who produced the track for you? Bishop, try Bishop. Okay. And okay. um Atlanta. Okay, and you're with what uh you're with a label? Yeah, an independent okay. label, Mars Republic. Shout out to them and everything, supporting and for you entertainment. There you go. I was about That's to say right, that because right. I was just on, yep. on the phone with the sister today. I said she only coming on for, you know, a spotlight five minutes. She got to give me game <laughs> and dropping jewels on me. I said, you know what, I'm gonna bring her back. We're gonna find a topic. She's gonna tell her story or something. Right. So you didn't even know that. But I'm gonna bring you back on and get longer time. Okay. 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 So right now, you've been doing some calls. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You've been doing some rehearsal or you've been doing a lot of shows. What have you been doing? Well, I um, actually did. Uh, came out of a um, tour, out of nowhere tour, where we did six oh. cities. It was amazing. We did wow. uh, Denver, Indianapolis, Chicago, um, um, I'm about to be her LA. Little, be her hype woman yeah. or something. Oh, yeah, yeah you know. I'm get mean, myself, I don't have no. that, so you know. Uh, well, no, right. real talk, because I be doing music, but I push my radio on TV more. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I was looking at something, uh, or no, at the actually at Slim 400 then when they was performing at, yeah. the, at the thing, summer kickoff, and I was like, man, I could be somebody hype woman too. You know, some people do that first. Be a little hype woman and stuff. I got a lot of energy. I yeah, you, I, I, I see it. But besides <laughs> that, keep going. Now, do you be dancing and stuff? Yeah, I do dance. Um, oh, um, no, you was talking about your cities. I yeah. cut you off. Go on back, Cookie. I got you. I got you, but, uh, she got 29. Um, yeah, right. we, we did six cities and everything. Okay. They showed my love. It was amazing. Um, and what cities was it again? I cut it you was, off. It was Denver, Indianapolis, Chicago, L.A., um, um, and... Um, okay, she, that's okay, in two more cities. 
Yeah, and um, and Texas. Oh wow, yeah, you nice. were moving. Who got you those shows? Your management? No, um, I ended up coming along with uh, another artist, Jordan Cash, and he got all upcoming artists to come along and oh, you know, that was dope. Like, some I'm money. trying to jump on you as a hype woman. Yeah, I'm yeah. Cool. you know, so it was a really that good experience. Cool. You spent money to perform. You yeah, said? you know. Oh, okay, you see, gotta, she invested in terms. You yeah, like investing in yourself, right. of course, of course. About. And it was really a good experience. Uh, I got a lot of hype back. That's um, right. you know, followers and everything. So, so that's supporters. the benefit. Tell the artists right now the benefit of investing into yourself. Go on oh, say you, know. you got a lot of hype backs. And I'm sorry, Pooh, this your cameras, these three. See them right okay, here? Okay. Yeah, you just look are. that way and you good. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, you know, definitely invested in yourself. You're going to get a lot of income than outcome. You know, the only way up is up. That's right. Go. Definitely. That's right. So the best thing to do is income in yourself because, you know, the only person you believe in, you know, that believe in yourself is yourself that's right and right. that's what Havoc said believe in yourself that's Definitely. the first thing he said the brother South Central Cartels is an OG legend okay. in the game yeah and he actually said that when I asked him to inspire the people or something right mm-hmm. so let people know what you have going on right now what they need to look out for or whatever the case may be let them know that right now let them know your social media and we're gonna go to this I got that dope not I got that dope Y'all dope heads and y'all dope dealers. Stop no, thinking no, about no. the dope. <laughs> no, it's dope. I got the dope. I got. I get the money when I sell the dope. Oh, shoot. I don't do that no more. No, I'm just playing, y'all. Go on here, little mama. Tell them what you got going on. Okay, here. you guys. No, can... I'm crazy. You'll realize that. <laughs> as long as you laugh, we good. <laughs> My EP, um, Double Cup, is okay. out on iTunes um, okay. under Kamani, K-A-H-M-O-N-E. And what's the Double Cup about? What's that? It's Double Cups. I mean, you know, at the time, um, the first track that I did was... Double cup, that's double cup, praise God and everything. So oh, okay. at the same time with sins oh, like and the, everything. Like the, like the cup flowing over? Oh, so what's the double cup? I ain't never heard that. No, it's uh. um it's the ba- it's basically about like um um at the you don't know, going through your lifestyle and everything, you know, what you do with double cups, you know, m- you know, everything you do and that's sinful. Oh, okay, okay double yeah, like double, you double up or double oh. up. Yeah, on and at the end it's no it's praise God, you know. D- okay. D C P G double cup, praise God. Okay, well my topic today was about law of attraction. Are you familiar with the law of attraction? Mm, not quite, but you Well, know. basically it's like what you put out you get back. Oh, okay. So okay. it's kinda almost paid for like, kinda like how but it's not on a sin note or whatever, because it's not a religious teachings. It's basically spiritual knowledge. Okay. But again, like God uh, in the Bible it says, what you do unto others come on to you, right. or you know what I'm saying, speak things into existence and all that good stuff. Okay. So yes. that's what the topic's about okay. today, the law of attraction and all that good stuff. So anyways, you're going to go look that up on Google when yes. you get back, and you're going to check that out so you can talk about that. Okay. And then you're going to start noticing law the good things. You know how sometimes things might tell you to go this way or go to this place, and then you end up probably getting something else out of going somewhere. Yeah. And meeting like somebody. Yes, yeah, like the law of attraction. Yeah, things happen for a reason There and you everything. go. There yes. you go. Being yes. at the yes. right place at the right time. You got it. She, I she got so, it. So, I know okay. you talking about God. So spirituality, Jesus, Buddha, Allah. It don't matter what you believe in. It's all spiritual and religion, and it all got it something similar, similar, right. similar yeah. things to it. So now, do we still let the people know what to be looking out for? Yeah. Besides, I got that dough. I cut you off on iTunes. So now I got that dough. Double cup. Double cup. There you go. You was on my it. EP. Okay. By the way, and um, you guys can go to my website. Okay. www dot k a h m o n e uh, kamani dot com, and okay. it has my um videos of my performance in Atlanta Clark it has oh. a bunch of pictures my bio my YouTube um, journey to Mars bio okay. there's a lot of stuff you guys can check out and everything and my SoundCloud is K-A-H-M-O-N-E underscore Cali Baby and I just oh my Facebook is Kamani just Kamani Okay. Yes, Kamani Harris. And um, I wanted to actually let my fans know. Go on ahead, talk to your fans. Go on, girl. <laughs> I want to let my fans know that we're having a on my face on my fan Facebook page, we're giving out um a whiz pack. Okay. An MP3 backpack for, you know, you oh, know, fans that like and cool. share, subscribe my page at official K A H M O N E Kamani.com. Awesome. That's that now, was really I, dope. I didn't ask you, you gonna get you done got more than your little spotlight time. I like her. <laughs> My bad. <I'm> <laughs> Sorry, guests, don't come. Let the little sister get the shine. <laughs> so uh um now, what city are you from? I didn't ask that while I'm asking you about dope dealing and all this other crap. I'm from LA, West LA. Okay. But I was born in Indiana. Indianapolis. Oh, wow, okay. So what time when did you come out here? When before I was one years old. No, I just believe in- it was your Instagram I was on. Are you mixed with Hawaiian or something? No, you know what? My or was it pictures on your Instagram? Oh, that when I, I was saw? in Hawaii. Is that what that was? You yeah, was little? I was just visiting. Yeah, I was, you're not seeing your uh, little cute little face in your hair. Like, like a little Hawaiian baby. <laughs> yeah, I was like wondering. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I just wanted to know. Yeah, I actually need to look at my background. You know, the little... Like this, where you get the little yeah. persistence. Yeah, but we mix with a whole bunch. Just say yeah, everything. You know, we everything. mix with everything. Now, do you travel beauty, a lot? Beauty. Well, you do travel. That was a dumb question. She just went to six cities. Yeah, she went to six, six states. Right. She's actually been to right. Miami, too. Okay. And Atlanta. Awesome. 
Okay. To do music. Yeah. That's right. And you are you working with any artists that um I don't want to ask people who they wish they worked with. Forget all that. You can blow up on your own. But is it somebody that you're working with right now by any chance you've been blessed to work with you that's like somebody that's real popular? Not so much on the radio, but you know, it's, YouTube is the bomb now. If they got a million views on there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But is it some about artists that you're working with? No, it's uh it's no artist that I'm working with. Um and everything. No, I'm just doing my own thing, working with producers. But there you go. I have worked with, That's you know, I have worked with um, artists. Okay. That you know was um had their name printed on everything. Okay. You know, like that's right. You know, but that's greater because you getting with producers is what you need and more music. Yes. yes. I forgot. I have a co-host which you met that was on the phone talking loud when you called. That was you called when you was talking loud. No. Oh, okay. Who was that called? The eight one eight number, Brian? No, no, I don't have an eight one eight. Remember when you answered the phone? Who was that? Yeah, that that was her letting me know that she was at the game. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, it was oh, three yeah. people on the phone. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So, anyways, uh, no. anyway, he can ask you a question. I act like he ain't here sometime. You know what I'm saying, Brian? Talk to her for two more minutes, man. Okay, we for got sure. a little more time. Uh, well, you know, Shay Thomas, that's my folks. So, how did you get hooked up with For You Entertainment? Oh, well, you know, it was through uh, Mars Republic, okay. my label and everything. They um, introduced me to them, you know, letting them know, um, um, you know, let them, you know, me finding out with you know their um, entertainment and everything, the radio and all okay. that, right. and then they ended up you know coming and helping you know helping, helping you and supporting, which was amazing and everything. They, That's cool. It was a big That's help fun. and everything. And I thank you guys yeah. for your entertainment and Shay Thomas. That's so. right. Go on here, Brian. Go on yeah. with another. I talked <laughs> right. to her for twenty minutes. Okay, now you got writing skills too. So oh, you know. See? So so some of the songs that you wrote, wh which ones do you like pretty much the most that you wrote? See, Brian got the good questions. Uh. That's why I got him here. <laughs> I'm okay. just here to act stupid. And you're in inspiration i would say radio on okay. my ep we guys check it out radio <clears throat> and palm trees okay and for my city those okay. are the three main ones because um radio it um it explains you know someone feeling like um you know not being you know i guess being turned off and turned on when the other person feel like they want to and you know yeah. oh, letting, like having that. a feeling like a radio right All you know right. dang i ain't never this little girl is the bomb yeah, yeah, she, she know what's going don't on don't be bad when out. i flip the hook with the word radio in it and talk about this that's that's i like that that's like a relationship you're talking about right yeah like you know, like you just treat or anyone like or anyone period oh yeah, yeah people like period. a radio uh, no that's true you know? people do that too more than me i don't even you know stupid never gonna really understand but, yeah, yeah. that makes sense oh wow come on brian come on was you finished oh no and you know for my city yeah, that's an know. anthem for my city. You know, up in West LA that's, that's and love. everything. Okay. And palm trees right. is, of course, you know, showing that LA type of city that's of angels of the palm. You know, palm trees. I was going to ask you then. You city described the them all. She's going to point. Go on, Brian. Give her one more. <laughs> okay. And we're going to sure. go to her track. Okay. Throw it at me, Brian. And I might not get okay. rid of her yet. Uh, of, what what is the hardest uh, things that you've come across, obstacles, you know, to, I guess you could say, try to keep you down, but you keep motivated and keep pushing? So, what? What obstacles have, came, have you came across? Something that stopped you from being discouraged, basically. Right, right, there definitely. There you go, B. Right. Oh, you got to get your words from the wife. Oh, yeah, I got to hear. Yeah, I forgot to get your words from the wife, B. We're going to do that next. Okay. Um, well, you know, um, it's a lot of obstacles in life. Okay. So You're Talking um, that mic, mama. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So I was getting mm -hmm. into it. That's okay. You was thinking. Yeah, right. so um, the op optical obstacles that I, I can say, um, I would definitely say, you know, some, you know, I guess some feedback and everything and all that, yeah. obstacles, you know, me trying to like, you know, work on that and all that. And um, I would say performance, like, you know, momentum on stage and everything. Okay. Right. You know, Do you have that? Well, yeah, I know I'm getting that and everything, of course. Oh, girl, you just call me. I'll help you with that. You, I'll show you. Me, I'll, I'll show oh, you, you know, me yeah, but that was just, you know, some obstacles um, have, you know, definitely come and all that. That's right. Okay. But, but how do you I'm overcome getting, it? I'm getting through it. So how do you not be discouraged by it? Um, you know, pray to God and everything. You have family mm -hmm. on my side. So good supporters, go. people, go. um, positive people around me. Hey. And just, you know, my and that's mindset. What does it. That's, that's cool. just what does Get it. Positive that. people. And Mark, Brian has a word from, from, for the day. Oh, so yeah. while she's, uh, we're going to go to her track. Sure. Right? Let's hear yeah. it. <laughs> no, we're going to do your words. Yeah, we're going to go to her track. Sorry about that. Introduce your track. Oh, okay. Uh oh, did you put it up yet? Introduce your track right quick. All right, you guys. This is I Got That Dough featuring your girl Kamani. Let's get into it. Damn. Look at my go, look what I roll through Y'all don't know, y'all ain't cold, y'all some igloo I got dough, y'all in snow like y'all don't know Send me a Bentley, send me a Mars, send me a Range Rover Got more missions, more missions, my dough missions Y'all don't know, y'all go broke, y'all wasted dough on coke missions I 
I'm too vicious. Rhyme rounds and all my millions. She will whip a man. All my thumbs, they shine different. Got no brains, not funny like so plain. But I fly high and I all around when I switch lanes. I got that dough, I got that dough, I got that dough. I got that dough, I got that dough, I got that dough. Look at my, look at my eyes, look at my go, look what I roll through. Y'all don't know, y'all ain't cold, y'all some eggless. I got dough, y'all in snow like y'all don't know. See me a Bentley, see me a Mars, see me a Range Rover. Everybody know me, everybody home, everybody come for it. Come for one, 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 two, three, it's like they know for it. Got that double cup, your double cup for you four fours. And y'all that lean down, but I stay up, cause I got dough. Got dough, cause I got dough. Got dough. Give me my yeah. dough. Give my dough. Give my <laughs> dough. Hey, y'all. Big salute again to my man, my brother, man, Jason. Coming out here from Florida, man, to visit Screaming Bossy and come on the show. I had him booked when I was at the Hollywood studio. I was about to charge him an arm and a leg because all that money it cost to be there. And then, uh, fortunately, I didn't have to. And then I was at another little wax studio. And now I'm at a bomb studio. Yeah, I said it. Morris Media. Shouts out to Mr. Morris. I love right. you, Mr. Morris. Couldn't forget that. You better almost about to let me forget. So we're gonna get straight to we are we're gonna keep my little mama on the thing. Kamani chilling with us and stuff. She's gonna learn about the law of attraction because I asked her about it and she was like a little so I want her to learn something since she came by herself and she ain't got a rush to go. You got a little boyfriend to go meet your husband or anybody? Mm-hmm. Girlfriend or something? <laughs> I do got a little a little boo thing. Oh, what time? <laughs> oh no, I got I don't got oh, to meet nobody. Meet no, okay, no, cool. No, no, no. So you're gonna learn about the law of attraction, how to yeah, keep I would the love energy to, right. I would love to. So you can keep the vibes right with Ooh. you and him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And be a positive person. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's right. what I like. Yeah, and if he's just negative, you're gonna get rid of him and the universe gonna see somebody positive <laughs> so anyways Brian she mentioned something about family and stuff and her support yeah. and I know you had a word uh, from the wise today and you mentioned to me it was something about something about something yeah. so let's get my man Brian y'all my ride or die my Tupac love lady park in the building I'm just playing y'all let's give Brian a hand clap you know what I'm saying and I want to thank him so much for his words and his kindness while I'm crazy and we dropping juice at the same time. Brian, <laughs> right. what's your words from the wise for the people today? All Open, right. uh-uh, everybody used to say this at the RMC. Yeah. Open your ears, your heart, and your mind, right. and, <laughs> and your behind. There you go. go. All right. Brian Williams, with words from the wise, my word for this week is family. Family isn't always about the people in your life who are relatives. It's about the people in your life who want you to be in their lives. It's about the people in your life who accept you for what you are, support you in the things you do, and no matter what, they are there for you. It's the people in your life who love you, respect you, and who can depend on you. Now that's family. You want to come into my life, the door is open. You want to get out of my life, the door is open. Hmm. Just one request. Don't stand in the door. You're blocking traffic. Whoa. Go on, Brian. What we bring That's to life. The in them. Yep. What we bring to life becomes our life. Mm. I'm Brian Williams with Words from the Wise. 
You know what? That was my other word. Yeah, let's get that hand clap. That's right. Oh, we got to start doing that after your words in the wise, Brian. Right? You all see, little mama kept right from me. You going to copy that. All right. Now I'm on, y'all. That's where we got it from. Her, not the poetry stuff. But look at this. Before I forget my dang on thought. Okay. You was on point. That was my other, uh, was the four different types of love. Right. I want to talk about the passionate love because I like passionate stuff and the man. But um, that other word I was going to use was kind of similar to that. So, yeah, and about the unconditional love, you know, that you have for a person, you know, not right. judgmental and all of that type of stuff. Definitely. Yeah, okay, sure. cool. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot. Mm -hmm. So you got your words from the wise, y'all. Again, the number, because we're going to talk. That's why I got Brian here, so I'm going to talk to myself and just, you know, just y'all. And we got little mom over there chilling. And we got my brother yeah. Jason out here from Florida. You know right. what I'm saying? Just sitting there chilling with us today. So if y'all want to call us, I'm very open to it. 323-293-3375. And once again, I will repeat that number. It's 323. Two nine three 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 seven five. Hey y'all, give me a call. Just cause I sound on a date no more. I mean y'all dudes can't call. Who? Oh, I ain't, oh I didn't. Oh I didn't. Hold on. Bossy's boobies. Oh. Bossy's playing, boobies. In the yeah, house. the moody thing. I had to bump. <laughs> Jason, they got hard now. So, anyways, um, law of attraction was my my topic for the day. So I was asking y'all to call in and all that stuff. Put that dang on phone on volume on down. See, I didn't give her the lesson before uh, she came. Uh, give yeah, me back yeah, my yeah. my dip land. Oh, give no. Me, I'm just there. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, y'all, uh, law of attraction. I wanted to speak on that. I know this new whoppy in here. He's a new whoppy in over here. I'm like the comedic knowledge. It's just the same. We like the same stuff. We, we look up in that camera. Get your butt up to there. There you go. Stop looking at the mic like she the titty. He oh. wants to look there. You know what I'm saying? Up there, Jason. I can't have Jason head down because he got a hat on. So just excuse me. Jason already knows I was going to bully him before the show started. So the law of attraction, y'all. Basically, uh, for, instead of me talking about what it is, you know what the law of attraction is? Let me let you talk in the, in the mic, and then you ain't got, I ain't got to keep okay. telling you to keep your head up like you, I'm the Tupac or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, go on to talk to the people, well, Jason. To me, what the law of attraction is is speaking things into existence, whether it be positive or negative. Yes, it is. Keep going. And what else? Can you elaborate more a little bit? Well, for me, the main thing is stating positive affirmations. If you got goals or aspirations, you know, to just... State that to yourself constantly. You got to yes, be confident. Yes, and that's what it's about, what affirmations. You there even, you go. Right. Even if other people doubt what you say, you still got to be confident mm. about yourself. Yes, there so. you go. You acting woke now. Come on. Woke. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm a little <laughs> yeah. say something, say something real quick, and I want you to keep, keep you know, adding to it. And, Brian, mm. people and their thoughts are both made from pure energy. And through the process of like energy, attracting like energy, a person can improve their own health, wealth, and personal relationships. Hey, I read y'all without messing up. I was messing up on my word for the day earlier. So definitely we can improve thinking alike. And, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. You know, we're thinking opposite. It's, it's, there ain't no opposites. The track is not going to work. It's going right. to be conflict. I'm with you. We think alike. It's all stars and Mars, like the label she on. Right. Mars, right? right. Yeah, yeah. Right See, I threw that in there. Yeah. You know, me and Brian is in heaven. We touching the universe. Right. And he like, y'all need to stop. I'm getting jealous, girl. You, you're too hot. You know okay. what I'm saying? That kind of love. That's right. So you got it. And then as far as friends, you know what I'm saying? You my friend. You get on my nerves, but I really love you. <laughs> but I got to stay away from your energy. But I keep giving you chance after chance. Okay. You want to make it sound like I'm the wrong. I'm going to get away from you. You my friend. <laughs> We like for 20. We both got red eyes, man. We is the bomb. Like, we get along good. I'm going to just keep you close to me because it's always love. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Brian, what you want to say about the law of attraction? And I'm going to go back to you, Jason. Well, you know, with the law of attraction also, it's all about positivity, too. Because if you stay around positive people, that's going to bring positive into your life. Mm -hmm. So you're going to definitely want to stay around positivity. And, uh, you know, when you think of something, that law of attraction, you know, whether... You want some good health or uh, whether you need some money in your life or you want you missing a, you know, a lost person in your family. Just just think about, them. you know, mm -hmm. they'll come your way. Real talk. And you know what? That's true. And, you know, like you think of people sometime and then you end up seeing them, they end up calling you. It's yeah. like, you know, right. definitely. Uh, what else? You would know, Mama. So are you getting an idea? This yeah, law of attraction I'm definitely now? getting an idea. And what are you getting out of it? OK, oh, well, you know, I'm getting that. Um, it definitely comes with, um, you know, positive positivity and everything. Having um, that, you know, income outcome and all that. Like we was talking about earlier. Right. Yeah. And which is the same uh, level. Yeah. And um, and, you know. Um, 
Hmm. I guess what you feed out in the universe. Yes. If you know, if you want to, you know, change the universe, you have to change yourself and everything. There you right. go. It's just you know, positive and everything. There you go. I like it. I like and you it. You can't it's change humble. people. You change yourself. You yeah. feel me? But uh, you, the key word in case people wonder what the universe. I had a, worked at this job at the convention center, uh-huh. and I was like, I had a toothache, and I was like, oh, universe instead of Jesus <laughs> or Buddha, whoever, right? right? So this sister, black woman, older woman, says. Universe, I ain't never heard nobody say that. Like she had an attitude, what? and um, divine creator of all. Okay, and um, I said, so if I would have said Jesus, or, you know, Buddha, or something, you would have been like, why are you even be like, you know? It, I just had to mention that. So mm. the point of me saying that was what it was for those who is like, why they saying universe? They ain't saying Jesus name. They ain't giving it Jesus in Jesus name. Be quiet. Uh-huh. Cause the universe was here before any of this anything or any of this anything we talking about in anything and anything and anywhere it was thought of it was the universe and the stars the Orion's belt go Google that and you can go see it right still in the sky at night three pyramids connected to the Egypt right the, mm-hmm. the three pyramids connected to three excuse me three stars in the Orion belt connected mm-hmm. to three pyramids in Egypt right but I see it right here in the hood of L A mm-hmm. so the universe more of the story go look up the universe you feel me get off your Jesus and your gods and your religious tips go look up spirituality get to get deep with it right. you know what I'm saying metaphysics like stop listening to what your preacher telling you and go figure this stuff out on your own and learn more about the law of attraction you know what I'm saying we attract what we want I'm gangster I'm hood that don't mean I want a gangster hood man. Huh. So sometimes I try to, you know, be sophisticated and all. Well, I'm really ladylike when I'm with a guy that my guys and I deal with. I'm not a hard gangster. I'm only hard on the dudes that I don't be wanting. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but I'm with the ones I love. I'm, okay. ooh, I'm a passionate I'm, love. Mm-hmm. Your porn star, your dick. <laughs> a lot more vulnerable. Huh? A lot more Girl, vulnerable. Oh, Malio. I okay. like nasty a little bit. I, I just ain't doing no threesome. <laughs> I just ain't doing no threesome with you, baby. But we can get nasty. Oh, so anyways. <laughs> see, now I'm going to try some good. Ooh. <laughs> got okay, so yeah, anyways, y'all. Y'all know I got to go into my spills. But just send that to say, you know. You are what you attract, you know, and if we attract, we think about money or we think about, oh, man, I ain't going to never this. Or, right. or even if you're in school, man, I can't never you pass the test. Stop universe. thinking yeah. you can't never pass it and you're going to pass it. True. Be like, I'm going to pass this test. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll pass this test. They say, say I am. Right. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of, I was at this job yeah. and they was trying to get me to say something I wanted, something and I kept saying what I wanted to do. Right. They were trying to make me say I am, like speak it now. Mm. Uh-huh. And yeah, and I'm starting to learn all this stuff. So, Jason, back to you, because this is my intelligent brother off of uh, the social media Facebook. It's my Facebook brother for years. Major supporter, like I said, on social media since I had Facebook. So, Definitely appreciate him coming out here. Uh, what else would you like to add? Is there some type of experience? Actually, let's do that. So to keep talking about the word and what it means, let's all tell a slight experience we've had with some type of law of attraction by you knowing the meaning. What type of experience have you had slightly? Like, make it a couple of minutes. Oh, hold on. 323-293-3375. Y'all don't want to talk about it? Keep listening. We live. MorrisMedia.com. MorrisMediaLive.com. Excuse me. We live Facebook. Currently in Corsi. Screaming Palsy. Global Streetway. We live everywhere, y'all. And we on iTunes uh, podcast when before I just upload this stuff when we get through. But uh, y'all stay tuning in to Global Street Wave. And I need y'all to call in, man. Real talk. Go on here, Jason. Now, what is an experience with some law of attraction with anything in life? Okay. One of the experiences I had was looking for work. Okay. Like, instead of telling myself, oh, man, there's no jobs out there or you know, it's just, it's too hard. I can't do it, you know. Mm-hmm. I mainly tell myself, I can find work, you know, let's work out there. That's right. So, as I keep that in my mind, it makes it more easier for me to be able to find work. See, mm-hmm. because you, you're you not thinking that it's not there, you know right. what I'm saying, which is so true. Brian, what's an experience that you'd like to share with us with the law of attraction? Thank you for making okay. that short, because that was a good. Oh, you well, you control. know, like, like, I remember one night, my hand was itching real, Put really, really, up. you know, really, really bad, you know. So I Which said Which one, myself, the right or the left? My left hand. Okay. And so then what happened was I, some just told me to get up, throw some clothes on, go out to drive out to the casino down like in this? San Diego. It was really bad like yeah, this? Yeah, oh, it's real bad, yeah. But I made okay, sure I didn't itch so I don't lose, lose that, that feeling, you know what okay. I'm saying? Oh, okay, keep going. I'm glad yeah. I asked that so, question. Okay. Yeah, so then when I got down to the casino and stuff like that, you know, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, I'm down here at Barone, the casino. And uh, I was thinking about some money, like I felt a bunch of money in my hand, right? Mm-hmm. So I sat down on this little penny machine, put this $20 bill in, and bang, you know, I got the bonus. On uh, my bonus, I got to pick these boxes. I ended up going to the highest round, which was the third round, and I made it all the way to the very last pick. I ran out of picks. Lady next to me is telling me, hey, if you get this last pick, 
on uh, this this bonus right here. Okay. She said, not only do you get the top bonus, it was like 10 jackpots on the machine. Okay. So she said, uh, if you get this last pick on the right one, you get all 10 jackpots on the machine. Mm. So I closed my eyes for 10 minutes, you know, a lot of attraction, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I said, I'm going to get this money. Okay. So, so then what happened? I got that. I got that. <laughs> I got she that said, down. Right, right. Now. right. So, <laughs> you so, on point. Right. So my right hand started to say, pick this box. But then I said to myself, no, hold up. You know what? I ain't got nothing but one pick left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes. And where my hand land, my left hand took my left hand Dropped it on the screen. That was the one. Wow. So and what did you win? $96,000. Shut up. When yeah. was this? It's like about four years ago. Oh, you better not have said four months ago and then take me nowhere, too. <laughs> bought me a new car. Thank you, Freeway Rick Ross, for this damn going and follow. I need a new car. Who would have yes. bought me a new car? Go Street Waves looking for car donations. And I ain't no nonprofit. Just give it to me. Charity, <laughs> charity or something. Not donations. Cash for donations. Yeah. Okay, I'll get mine. And I was thinking as you was talking, I'm going to make it real short. And I don't think I'm going to cry for y'all because I'm able to tell this story without crying. Okay. I have a scar right here on my side. Y'all can barely probably see it. I had uh -huh. a kidney removed. And all because I believed that I would be healed. And at that time, before I started believing in hieroglyphics and Egyptian stuff and aliens and stuff, I was a Jesus freak. I used to get people baptized in Jesus' name. So the Global Street Wave, you had Soul Wonder Productions at the time Wonder Public Access. Okay. Before I forget my story. I had believed that I would be healed. So what happened was, what had happened was everybody on the porch over there hustling. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, I was sick and it was getting worse and worse. And I'm like, dang, who, like, I, you know, I was watching church and something in my, in my head. Right. Thyroid eye, pineal gland, something in my head told me. I mm -hmm. listened. And that's part of law of attraction. It said you need prayer. Right. So you know, it's a Christian faith. You know, even if, so I didn't know in the Christian Bible, it says when you are sick, go to the elder and get prayer. Right. And I didn't even know that. So I called my auntie. I'm, I'm going to call somebody you know, that don't be on the porch with us and all this dangle, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, farms and stuff. Uh, who in the family don't, you know, is on. So I called my auntie and read her, rest in peace. Okay. My cousin Chinook Teresa took me on Florence and Normandy to Pastor uh -huh. Ellis. And the moral of the story is I went to the man and he was like, uh, he read Mark. 525, the one with the issue of blood, seen by many doctors, instead of getting better, got worse. Uh oh, I can feel it try to come, uh, y'all. Yeah. It's my little testimony I'm trying to give y'all in the midst of the law of attraction. My eyes water. Thank you, universe. That's why I'm still here. Y'all don't understand me, but you're going to do it one day. So, more of the story, he asked that I believe that I'd be healed. Right. But in the midst of him reading the scripture, the one with the issue of blood, now mind you, I have been sick. I just had a kidney infection, y'all. I was neglected for like four months, so my kidney died. I had poison in my back. I had to get it drained out. When I found out I was sick at Cedar Sinai, uh -huh. then I had to get surgery. So, I almost actually died from a kidney infection. Wow. And all that to say, I right before that can even get even look up in the camera. I know I'm talking. You can look at my camera. Right. right before that can you know really affect me detrimentally. And my son was one, so thank okay. God I wasn't pregnant with him. Right. It would have been an either or decision, or maybe I don't know. But you know, the whole point is I believed even with my Jesus faith. I do all this talking hieroglyphics, queens, and all this stuff, and mm. all of that, y'all. But uh, Jesus then to me had healed me because I believed and something told me to go get prayer. Right. There so you go. because I had listened to something in my mind, right. tell me to do something. Okay. And I believe. Now I could have not even been a Jesus freak. I right. could have been nobody's freak, nobody's faith or no religion mm -hmm. and just listen to some in my head say, baby, go to a church where you ain't been in forever or right. never and get prayer. Because, yeah. you know, in the Bible they say the man Christ, Jesus, whatever y'all want to call him, Yeshua and all that, he healed even non-believers. Right. So definitely when the pineal gland uh, is your third eye conscience, uh, yeah, you, you know, people tell you, oh, when something telling you in a soft voice or when you ain't listening, it might hit you hard because yeah. they be hollering at me sometimes. That's why I be hollering at y'all. But like if something's telling you, don't do that, you know, go that way. Right. Or some might say, get up, go to the store. And mm -hmm. you might bump right into somebody you know. It's true. You know what I'm saying? Really true. Hey, one more last story. Right. Nigga, brother right. in the hood right. sweat my son. Okay. And I was like, dang, I told him to show me the cars. He's trying to show me the car on the internet, y'all. Uh -huh. Sitting at the house chilling, doing something on the phone or something, promoting too hard. Something said, get up, go to the store. Okay. So I walked to the 99 cent store. I seen that dang on Monte Carlo. A black one. Okay. Coming out the parking lot. I was on the phone with the DWP, y'all, probably trying to get an extension. I told that lady, you know what? So she answered that phone. Mm -hmm. I walked out that door. I said, I'm going to call you right back. I walked up on that car, and a brother from the Thumbs over there, I said, hey, you know such and such, because I know who else he was at. Right. He said, yeah. I uh -huh. caught him called Slip. And I said, you just a little boy with the low hair? Uh, yeah, that's my son. Uh -huh. I said, he's not a gangbanger. You know it. Don't sweat him. Right. And then I talked where I told him. I walked away. He said, all right, mom. So auntie or some crap like that. Yeah. But the point was I told my son, guess what? Uh -huh. I seen the dudes 
that freaking tried to sweat you when you was walking down the street mm. and tried to follow you. This was like a couple of years ago. Right. So the law of attraction on that was the point because y'all like, boss, you should be talking. Something made me get up, yeah. go to the store, and I was a determined mother, not a father. I was a determined mother. Right. That guy in a method, like, <laughs> I, was, I was a determined mother to find out what Negro in the hood was messing with my son. See, whether you in the hood, black women, mm-hmm. or not. Them boys are still a target. And that wasn't the point about the law of attraction. So you can move out the hood law all you want, really. Because I hear about a lot of brothers, they move out the hood, out the state, and begin pop still. Right. So, you know, it's about, again, us teaching our kids how to not only survive life, but be positive with their energy. That's right. Because they get put in this bubble and they get protected. For sure. Oh, hallelujah. Now I feel Christian Thank okay. you, Jesus. Thank you, Yeshua. What other names is in New Wapian? What y'all call Jesus in New Wapian? Well, they say horrors, but we don't... Oh, okay. You like what I like. Oh, what, what? But we don't really put too much emphasis on that. Exactly. I've been putting on me and my spirit. I'm the Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save you. I'll save you, baby. I got that (laughs) sexual healing. (laughs) Hey, that's part of the law of attraction? Yeah. I got sexual Mm -hmm. healing. Can't y'all see my smile? No, I'm just playing. (laughs) So, um... Who want to take the, the road? We about to get out of here, y'all. I think I talked to them. Okay, we got five minutes. So we got five minutes. That's cool. Okay. Before Bossy ended. Uh, we're going to get out of here. On the track, uh, I don't know. Did Paul just get that track? Did I ever get to Paul just that track, and that Screaming Bossy track? Okay, good. So what I'm going to do before we go, y'all, we talked about the law of attraction. We didn't even need no callers because y'all needed to hear my testimony. You know what I'm saying? About my kidney. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm still here on earth today, y'all. And I'm just happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all see me uh, acting a fool and whatever you think, and she's just so happy. She's just always got living all this life. humor. And yeah. I'm living life. Understand, living I don't life. have to be here. My son could have been raising himself because my granny had died in 03. My mama cool, though. She would, But, you know, my son, he wouldn't have his mama from the age of one on up. Mm-hmm. He got his mama. Okay, and he made her mama look good. So I'm very thankful to be here. You know what I'm saying? And thanks to the law of attraction, and that I listen. And you have to have a gift of discernment. That's quick to understanding and being able to, you right. know, be able to understand. But that wasn't what I was gonna say. So this brother Jason, he's uh from where are you from, Jason? Miami, Florida. Okay, and Jason hey. does music too. You gonna we gonna give our quick shout outs and all that. We're gonna make sure we end it now. We're gonna end it now so we can play this track. Jason got this track. Sound kind of right. country a little bit. Yeah. A little Midwest down south. I had to kind of get used to it. I ain't gonna lie. Because right. Jason, he ain't no, I'm from LA. Yeah. You know, we say gangster rap. Right. He's not no gangster rapper. He like that, uh, uh, what I said? Uh, the uh, old, uh, uh, Knowledge. No, not the knowledge. Oh, you super into the knowledge, it's not that part. Yeah. Oh, he gonna spit that. No, not that part. The uh, down south. What else? Bum B. That track remind me of that type of Bum B. Like, but oh, it's okay. dope. He made a track for Bossy. Oh, Talk about screaming good. Bossy. So before we get out of here, we're gonna play this track, and but we're gonna do our shout outs first. So we're not gonna go to the track yet, y'all. We're gonna end on the track that my brother made Bossy a personal track for herself, and uh, I'm gonna go start down there, little mama. We're gonna give our shout outs, sure. and I'm gonna give y'all y'all last thanks and all that. You know, hold tight. We got Kamani. Let's give her a hand clap. Thank this little queen for being positive, being productive, and doing something with her life. Not out here, you know, lost Mm -hmm. the drugs. And even if you had a child, take care of it. So we can't knock knock that. Don't be bringing out the baby and killing the poor babies. I'd have like 20 kids, y'all, if I'd have kept all them damn babies. Lord, forgive me. Jesus, Horace, and everybody. I'm just playing. So anyways, little mama, give your shout outs to your people. You're going to get yours. You're going to get yours. I'm going to close out this show. So. All right, all right. Well, I definitely want to give a huge shout out to my label, independent label, Mars Republic, and For You Entertainment, okay. Shay Thomas, all the listeners that, you know, came and listened today. Um, well, you know, on the show. And I want to give a um, shout out to Global. Well, Street global, Wave. Street Wave. I got your back. Course. Everybody be confused. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and um, to my family for being supportive and everything, and God. That's right. Amen. Thank you, darling. Go on, Jason. I'd like to give a shout out to my family. I'd like to give a shout out to all the United Nuwapians worldwide. I want to give a shout out to Bossy and Global Street Wave. And I'd like to give a shout I out. I distracted him. <laughs> <laughs> he like, wait a minute. You I said like Bossy, give, I start game banging. I'm hood. I'd like to give a shout out to just living life and being positive. That's and right. Mm-hmm. That's right. right. To the law of attraction. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Go on. Oh, you know what? Shots are gone ahead, Brian, and I'm going to end it. What's up? My yeah, Facebook was popping. I give a it. shout out to Shay Thomas before you entertainment. Uh, Kamani for coming on the show today. And uh, to my fam that came out to my birthday party, LeGrand. And uh, uh, everybody just came out, you know, love, much love, peace, and soul. And my Soul Train family. That's, I knew I was going to say that. Abdul, Royal, Hazel, Shay, 
Danny, Swift Tracks, Robin, it's a whole bunch of y'all I can't see. Thank you, Royal, for telling me I look awesome, baby. I did it for y'all. <laughs> and now an attractive, okay, in that dough. Track that dough. Hey, hey, you, Shay said now we got to track that dough. So on that right. note, right. y'all got to track that dough right quick. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, y'all. We are every other Thursday. I was wrong with the second and fourth. We are every other, excuse me, darn it, every other Tuesday. Our, uh, shoot, Morris Media Live. I just love RMC so much. Y'all miss that place. Mm -hmm. Morris Media Live, y'all know. Check us out every other Tuesday. Yeah. Global Streetway, man. Peace, love, hair grease, law of attraction. Y'all go look it up. E R O S, word of the day. Go look it up. We love y'all. Thank you. I'm screaming bossy Peace. when I'm riding on the west side. I'm screaming bossy when I'm riding on the west side. I'm screaming bossy when I'm riding on the west side. West coast, yes, I'm in California, love. I'm screaming bossy when I'm riding on the west side. I'm screaming bossy when I'm riding on the west side. I'm screaming bossy when I'm riding on the west side. West coast, yes, I'm in California, love. I'm screaming bossy, and you know I'm down with it. Don't stop, get it, get it, nigga. I'm from Cal City, the nitty gritty streets of Miami. But now I'm screaming bossy. I'm out here in California. It's a dirty South West Coast connection. I'm your shining armor. Yeah, I'm your protection. I'm out here in Compton. I'm out here in Inglewood. I'm screaming bossy in each and every single hood. I'm omnipotent. Yeah, I'll be everywhere, East Coast, West Coast, the Midwest, the Dirty, Dirty, Cal City, Open Locker, I'm screaming Bossy, Liberty City, Old Town, Coconut Grove, I'm screaming Bossy, I'm screaming Bossy, in the MIA, I'm screaming Bossy, out here in South Central LA, I'm screaming Bossy, everywhere I go, on Globe Street, Wave Radio, in the studio, and in the video, so you better stay in your lane, or we gon' bring the rain, or we gon' bring the fire, or we gon' bring the flame, flame, Bananu 9 is my name, name. Yeah, I'm from the dirty, dirty end. You know I'm bout it, bout it. I'm screaming bossy when I'm riding on the west side. I'm screaming bossy when I'm riding on the west side. I'm screaming bossy when I'm riding on the west side.